Gemini, this is Soul, and Gemini, this is going to be your general forecast uh, for the week of July 25th through the 31st, 2016. Okay, so before I begin your messages, I do want to take this time and opportunity to uh, thank all the Geminis um, who are devout followers, subscribers, fans. Um, just letting you know that I do appreciate you. Um, I don't always have the opportunity to uh, reply to all the comments that do come through. Uh, so I do want to let you know that I do appreciate you. And also, too, because I've mentioned um, this in the other videos that I have done, um, those who continue to or wish to spew uh, their venom, uh, in terms of the comments that come through, um, the only thing that I can say to you is, uh, you know, carry on. Um, what you throw towards me in terms of, you know, venom and negative energy, uh, I just see it as something that's already occurring with you. So um, continue to do. What you need to do, I leave these comments up so that uh, you guys can engage each other um, because sometimes the readings um, not only resonates with you, but um, you can share personal um, experiences with each other. Uh, so that's the only reason why I leave these comments up. Uh, I do receive more positive than I do negative, but every now and then I have to address the negative um, comments that come through. I just, you know get taken aback um, that people have that much time and energy um, to do what they do and for the most part if the readings don't resonate with you then you know just simply move along I mean <laughs> what's so hard in doing that but anyway I don't want to spend too much time on that but I do appreciate you Gemini and the energy that I have um, for you and the messages coming through for you this upcoming week and the potential of energy uh, is related to the emperor and the reverse position major arcana major life event so the emperor showing up in the uh, reverse is for what I'm getting for some of you is having to be able to release uh, a need to uh, control and maintain order uh, for you Gemini, for some of you at least, this is a week of just letting things go and, you know, going with the flow of things. Okay. Now, also to the emperor relates to um, control issues uh, that some of you may be um, or have dealt with. And now this is the time for you to um, come to grips and be able to be able to release having to have control and maintain order this is just a week of letting things go and go go with the flow of things okay uh, the emperor is also to uh, related to energy of dominance so it could be you know that dominance and control in terms of a relationship this is a general reading so um, you have to apply the messages to whatever is close personal or significant uh, to you so the dominance that I'm seeing um, overcoming the dominance in terms of a relationship this could be a friendship romantic intimate relationship it could be something that's uh, going on in the job environment and also um, definitely related to family uh, structure okay uh, the emperor also is related to you know authority and power so it it still goes in to what I had said about having to use this time to release any power struggles or control, maintaining order and dominance, uh, either of self or those close to you. OK, just let it go and um, try to release that energy. The emperor also is representative of. You know authority so it could be that I'm reading for some Gemini's who are you know working law enforcement and 
you in particularly uh, in terms of a message needs to release some sort of dominance or control uh, within your work environment or it could be that within the work environment that you were feeling uh, controlled and someone was dominating you so it's all about having to release all of that energy okay and just let things come to you naturally this week and don't place too much restrictions on yourself and feeling like if things don't go your way that you have to be able to control that or you know dominate that event okay so next up we have the uh temperance so that's in the um the reverse as well major arcana major life event so if if you don't come to the point of releasing some sort of uh uh control or maintaining order then it's just going to throw you off balance uh gemini okay the um, uh, the temperance in the upright is all about having to achieve uh some sort of uh, balance that was you know thrown off so it's important for me to tell you to just let it go and you, you know for those who or in that situation or you know encounter this kind of energy this week it's going to throw you off if you don't so the temperance is about balance and maintaining order uh so be mindful of that energy and also too i just feel that some of you might feel in terms of your creative energies being somewhat uh diminished this week too with the temperance card because the temperance is all about um being creative and the reverse is the opposite it's like you might have some sort of struggle in trying to express yourself uh creatively and the temperance is associated with uh the sign of aquarius so that's definitely uh your energy so it could be that you're dealing with individuals who are who are that you know who excuse me who you are close to and we have this domination control uh that may be an aquarius gemini libra male or female so it could be any situation family relationship job uh friendship okay um if you don't try to release it this this week then it's going to throw you off balance in the middle of the week now we have the six of cups so it's really all about letting go and some of this domination and control has to be um also released in terms of emotions because there's emotions that, uh, attached and tied into a situation the six of cups in the reverse is also a um, indication of some sort of emotional letdown um, or disappointment this could be related to water signs cancer Scorpio or Pisces uh, male or female I also see too that it involves children so it could be uh, a direct impact on the child of the Gemini that could be a water sign it could be any sign um, coming across as being somewhat emotionally upset or disappointed and then also too I feel that uh, the six of cups represents um, specifically with relationships from someone from your past um, who may try to reconnect with you or reach out to you and then there's this emphasis of turning down that offer also it's not just strictly related to relationships it could be a friend from the past it could be a family member from the past uh, in the reverse it's it's not pleasant memories of this person that may try to reach out or reconnect with you so like i said friendship relationship uh family member um it could be that you <clears throat> are thinking about some sort of uh you know old job that you had that brought a lot of disappointment your way or wasn't you know emotionally satisfying so it's a lot of stuff with the six of cups in the reverse for you gemini but Overall, I feel it's just a week of letting things go. And, you know, if you have to deal with any uh, powerful emotions, let them come to you, deal with them, and then filter them out. Uh, don't allow them to come to you, overtake you, and then it stays there because that 
will just make you more miserable. Uh, anyway, so the tail end of the week, um, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So there may have been some issues with some Gemini's uh, concerned over finances uh, with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, definitely the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse uh, is all about acquiring um, financial stability and security. Uh, so this is, you know, building up of, ne you know, nest eggs and investments and stuff like that. In the reverse, it means that uh, Friday going into the weekend, some of you are going to uh, experience an end to some sort of financial concerns. So the tens, are, you know, as the fives are representative of clearing of energy. So it'll come to you. And then new energy will come your way. So there is an emphasis here that there could be a pickup uh, in finances for some Gemini's uh, that had to deal with some sort of um, financial loss and just having, you know, possibly the inability to. Um, make ends meet or something to do with not having enough money in the reverse is coming to an end of those concerns okay that's what I'm picking up in terms of the message for you uh, so we'll see um, how things play out after this week but I think that the central issue here is to let things go and let and just go with the flow okay releasing of uh, uh, emotions that may have been you know pent up related to some sort of bad experience uh, related to a friendship relationship a job something going on in the family and then I'm picking up children associated with this energy too so it could be them directly uh, coming across as being somewhat emotional or disappointed this week now it may not be you know directed towards you but some event may create this energy for them okay now the last card which I spoke about was the 10 so it's overcoming um, financial concerns and worries 10 of Pentacles okay all right, so that's your reading, uh, Gemini, for this week. And the uh, Magical Times Oracle card that I have selected for you is um, Sacred Space. And Sacred Space says, take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power in stillness in your sacred space. Well, in your sacred space is the peace you seek. So whatever that sacred space is, and I just feel that, too, this is important uh, this message coming through as I had mentioned that this is uh, in, you know instrumental for you to try to release any power struggles dominance and control and you know maintaining order in your life just let it go just let things naturally happen and if there is some sort of uh, you know backlash to having to release those things that I just mentioned don't let it affect you OK, it may be that you need to do these things in order for uh, newer energy to come your way. Uh, and that's in all areas. All right, Gemini, once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. Um, as before, if the above reading doesn't uh, resonate with you, then uh, the Oracle cards are selected because there may be a message there that does and vice versa. Um, so in the meantime, I thank you once again for visiting my channel. And I also uh, want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, Gemini, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.